115. So there's an, a side reason. While there's a mashkom, so Shemitah doesn't wipe away the loan. A, a debt without a mashkom, Shvi's wipes it away. So that's why the, the, the lender is interested in going back and taking the mashko and always having the mashko because that creates a loan that is bulletproof for Shemitah. Another reason. Right? Normally, you cannot collect metatolin from your soul. Time a daughter mashkane. Because he went and took a mashkane again. Halo hadar mashkane. If he didn't take it, lo. Now, Rabbi Yochanan said, once he took a mashkane once, that gives you a permanent schus in the mashkane. Why do you have to do it again? On Rabbi Bar Master, the love to Rutsukum and Tarts the law. You answered over there. If you're returning it, what's the whole point of taking the mashkin in the first place? Oh, of two reasons. That it causes the loan to be shmi to prove, and it takes away metatalin that otherwise you wouldn't be able to collect from the Isomi. Torah Bonam. It says, Lo savo el beito la vot avoto. Don't go into his house to take his pillow. Le beso yata nichlas, vata nichlas, le beso shall orate. If there is a cosigner on the note, you can go into the cosigner's house and take mashkin from him. Vechenu oimer lokoch bigdo ki orev zar, in Pasuk and Mishle. Ve oimer, bonai im orav tel riyaka, if you were an orev, a cosigner to your friend, so a cosigner that obligated himself to pay a friend's debt or somebody who's trapping with his friend if he owes you money, utterly pieces yod. Or you owe him money, open your hand and give it back. Vim love. It's not a, a monetary debt. Rahav Reyecha, Harbi Alav Reyin. Bring him a lot of friends. With Sadshani, we have a drosha lo savo al boy. So lebeso yet taniknas. He can't go into his house. Avala taniknas le sacher katov. You can take implements to help schlep the sacher chamar for for donkey drivers, the sacher pundik, the sacher dyuknis, paintings, shutzir. You're allowed to take mashkins, things that he doesn't live on. What if you hired somebody, you don't have money to pay him, so you set it up as I owe you money. Once it's a debt, it's like all other debts, and you cannot collect a mashkun against his will. Mishnah. You're not allowed to take a mashkun from an almona, whether she was wealthy or poor. Whatever her financial status is, you're not allowed to take a mashko. Rav Shimon Oimer, Ashir of Mashkinenosa. You can take a mashkon from, from a wealthy Almona. A Niyain Mashkinenosa. Shatachayb Lachzirlo. What's the problem? Once you take a mashkon, you have to return it. Now, every day is going to have to come and return it. Her neighbors are going to see a strange man visiting her every night. 
coming to her house. They're gonna they're gonna have uh, idle talk about her. By an Ashira, you don't have to return it, so you can you you can take a mashka and there's no problem. So Lemeimer Rav Yudah Lo Dorsh Time the Kra. Rav Yudah doesn't use or darshan the reasoning of Psukim. And Rav Shimon Dorsh Time the Kra Vayip Kushamir. We've heard just the opposite. The Tanya. It says by Mela. King can have, cannot have too many wives. Otherwise, they will turn his heart against Hashem. Ravida says, if a king can prevent himself from following his wives, he can take many wives. Shlomo Melech followed Ravida. Even one wife who has bad influence, he shouldn't marry her. So, even at Sadek, it's like Avigayo. So, we see here, Rabbi Shimon is not darshning the Tam, Rabbi Yudah is darshning the Tam. Normally, Rabbi Yudah low darsh, darsh time at the cross. Normal Rabbi Yudah does not follow the intent of Suki. Shiny Acha. The Mafarish Kra, the Krog, gave itself a reason. Why Lo Yarbe Lanoshim? Because of Lo Yasser. My time in Lo Yarbe Lanoshim is Shum, the Lo Yasser. So here he agrees that there's time in the Kra. Rabbi Shimon holds it's the opposite. Michte be Oma Darshin in time in the Kra. Normally I Darshan time in the Kra. So what's he going to do here? Licht of Rahman of Lo Yarbe. So the Torah should have just written Loyarbe. I know my time in Loyarbe Mishun Loyoser. So why did the Torah have to write Loyoser because Rachman Lamali? To add another Isser. Shafilu Achas Umisris Liba Rezalis. They should never marry a woman who's not appropriate. Period. Achoyvel Asar Rechaim. Rechaim is a, is a grinding mill. So a person took as a mashko. The Torah says not to take something used for oichel nefesh. So you're over a lot. And if he took the two stones that grind, there are two distinct kalim. You're chayv twice. Which is the other stone. It's not just that specific implement. Any kli that is used to make food, you can't take. If he took a, a grinding mill, get a lot. You took two, twice. One mishum rechaim. Because you took something that was specifically written in the Torah and Something that makes food. Right? Because But Rabbi Yehuda Omar, you took the top of the mill, you took the bottom, you took Rechaim Varechev, and the fact that the Torah wrote, Kinefesh Choyvel, Lishart Varmudasa, to other kalim that are used to make food. Lema Abaya Verova is beplukted. Ravuna Rav Yehuda come if lead. Abaya Rav are arguing in the same makhluk as Ravuna Rav Yehuda. We're talking about the night of the Korban Pesach. You're supposed to roast it. If you didn't roast it, it says, Don't eat raw and don't eat don't eat cooked in water. So Omar Rava, it was roasted a little bit like rare. Because 
Now, so you're over to lavim if you ate it partially roasted. Now, if you ate mevushal lo there's a lav of mevushal mishum mevushal v'chi, and because you didn't eat it kim tzliyesh. If it was also partly cooked and partly raw, like a shalish, because it's mishum na, mishum mevushal, mishum lo sochlu kim tzliyesh. This lab of it's not a specific, it's not specific enough. There's a number of ways to fulfill that. Could be raw, could be cooked. So you don't get markets for a lab that's not very specific. Well, Chorah, Bai and Rav are arguing the same thing. Lema Baya Domakrav Yuda Varov Domakrav Lima. No, Armalcha Rava. Anada Amri, I feel Kadas Rav Yuda. Ad Kamaka Rav Yuda Hossam. Rav Yuda says you don't get Makos on the issue of Kinefashu Choyvel. Kinefashu Choyvel. Loy Mashma Rechaim Varechev. It's not directly explaining that it means a mill. So it's more logical, and not to add in this one, it's to add other types of food implements. Now, but by Pesach of Al-Hocha, he in Tzliyesh Lamay also, where it says it's got to be eaten roasted. What other, what other shot are you going to learn? It, it, it excludes either raw or cooked. So that's a certain specific iser that you would add to it. But a bayam lecha, anoda amrini, anoda amir fil ravuna. I can look at ravuna asam, el adachin nefeshu choyvel. Now let's go to kuf tet zayin. 116. Hold on. 